everyone. It's Angela from Shin Screens, and today we're gonna take a walk around the community garden and show you what's going on this month. So it's already September, and you know, most people around the country are preparing for fall. But here in Southern California, we have a very long summer. So I'm actually doing another crop of summer vegetables before the season's over. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I've harvested this month, um, some new things that I'm planting. And so uh, I hope you enjoy this video. So one of the first things I did this month was harvest my giant sunflowers. <laughs> and these are the mammoth variety and I was so impressed with how well they grew and how huge they got. So I chopped them down and harvested the seeds. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at how humongous this is. Um, so I left this out to dry for about a week and I'm gonna harvest the seeds. I got two sunflower heads and this is my first time growing sunflowers and I couldn't be happier. I mean, just look at this. I am so happy about this. So let's get these seeds collected. Not all of the seeds got pollinated. And if you squeeze the shell and it feels kind of squishy or it feels empty, then it's probably not viable and it's probably just an empty shell. So I got rid of the unpollinated seeds and threw those in the compost and I only kept the good seeds. Okay, you guys, I am super happy with my sunflower seed harvest. This is just from one single sunflower head. I got over 1300 seeds from one single seed that I planted a few months ago. I mean, if that's not magic, I don't know what is. So there you go. There's my first sunflower harvest. I hope you guys give this a try because it's so much fun and it really is just so magical. Here I've planted another batch of pole beans. So these are green beans that are going to climb up this trellis here. I have another Japanese cucumber. The old one I had right here in this spot died off or it just wasn't producing. It was getting old and slowing down with this production. So I have another one planted here that my garden neighbor gave me. I planted a lot of Swiss chard seedlings all around. And I have another zucchini here. This is my second crop this summer. And I've got two more zucchinis over there. And this is a beautiful, beautiful pepper plant that is loaded with fruit. And these have not turned to color yet. They're still green. I don't know what color these are gonna be. So I'm just gonna have to wait and it's gonna be a surprise. Here I've got a Berkeley tie-dye tomato. Has some other tomatoes, some smaller ones growing here and there. I have a few of them on this plant. So I'm really excited about trying this tomato. and my lovely butternut squash that's probably ready to pick. This is one of my Moringa trees that are, is looking so beautiful. I mean, it's grown so tall. This is taller than me now, but it's looking so good. And these leaves are really nutritious. I mean, you can eat it raw, put it in a smoothie, you can stir fry it or eat it in a salad. Um, really, really nutritious leaves. It's growing so well. And I've got another Moringa plant here um, that is also doing beautifully and it's producing these flowers and they produce seed pods that are edible too. So I'm really, really happy with how this, these two Moringa trees are doing. And here I've got golden watermelons. These have yellow flesh on the inside. So I'm really curious about this spot. Of course, I don't have any space to put them, so I am gonna give them away to some of my friends. And I've got my last sugar baby watermelon. And I've got this Korean pepper plant that is so productive. Oh my gosh, just look at all these peppers. I've been harvesting them for the past couple of months and they just keep producing and producing and there's no signs of slowing down. I mean, just look at how many peppers there are. 
And these peppers are just a little bit spicy. Not as spicy as a jalapeno, but they definitely have a little bit of a kick to them. And check out this glorious eggplant. This is a ping tung eggplant. And I started this from seed, but look at how huge it's gotten. And I've already harvested a few eggplants off of this, but it is producing really nicely. I mean, these are really beautiful, tasty eggplants. And this plant will live probably a few years and keep producing, um, you know, as a perennial, which is fantastic. So I don't have to start seeds every single year, but I've got some beautiful eggplants here. They are just really, really tasty. I'm so happy with this plant. This is probably my favorite plant of the season. And I've got another pepper plant here. This is a sweet uh, mini pepper. And look at the color on this. Look at that bright, vibrant orange color. And, and these are really good. These are sweet, not spicy at all. And these actually, I got the seeds from this, the peppers from the grocery store. but it's producing a lot, a lot of peppers. Okay, here we go. The sugar baby watermelon. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. So all these green beans look totally dead, but this is actually what I want. Now, this pole bean right here. I've harvested a lot of fresh green beans off of this and they were so delicious. Um, I did two main harvests and this is the third one. Now the third one I just left it on to fully mature all the way so that the beans inside um, can be dried and stored and eaten and you know eaten like a dried bean or save it for next year for planting. Here I've got raspberries that I um, actually harvested a bunch already, but there are still some that are ready to pick. But these raspberries are so freaking delicious. Um, this raspberry plant was a volunteer, which I cannot believe. Um, I mean, this plant was 100% free and it came up from my kitchen waste and it just grew so well and um you know i just fertilized it but other than that i didn't do anything really special with it i didn't prune it or anything and um, it's just producing a lot of fruit you just can't get berries like this at the grocery store okay. <laughs> 